there are three primary flight control surfaces on an airplane, ailerons, elevator or stabilator, and rudder. I will discuss how each of them operate and what axis they rotate around in this video. In addition, I will discuss the two secondary flight control surfaces associated with a typical general aviation trainer aircraft, flaps and trim. The first major control surface I'll talk about are the ailerons. As you can see here, we have one on the right wing and one on the left wing. You notice they work opposite to each other and they provide the ability for the plane to roll in the longitudinal axis. So as we look at here at this aircraft here, as we change the ailerons, the plane will either roll this way or that way along the length of the plane or the longitudinal axis. The final two major control surfaces of an airplane occur on the empennage of the plane or the tail feathers, if you will, of the aircraft. And the first one we'll talk about here in the back end of the aircraft is the elevator. As you can see here, it goes up and down and it works in parallel uh, on both sides. Unlike the ailerons where one rotates up versus the other one rotates down, um, with the elevator on both sides of the aircraft, they go up and down simultaneously, as you can see here. So looking at this small aircraft, when we push forward or on the stick or back on the stick, we cause the elevator to go up and down. And that up and down motion caused the aircraft either to pitch um, down or pitch up along the lateral axis. And the lateral axis is the uh, line that runs through the center of the wing uh, from the left to right or right to left, no matter how you approach it. So again, by moving the stick or the yoke uh, forward or backwards, we cause the aircraft to pitch along the lateral axis uh, that's associated with the wing. The last major control surface for an aircraft is the rudder. And we have a big rudder here on a Super Cub. Uh, if you were to look at a Skyhawk or a uh, Archer Warrior, it'd be much smaller. But we have a good size one here on a Super Cub. And using the rudder pedals, we can turn the rudder left or right to cause the direction of the nose of the plane to go left or right. So again, using my small airplane, when we apply left and right rudder, we apply left rudder, the plane turns left. We apply right rudder, the plane turns to the right. And what we're doing is we're rotating along the vertical axis. If we were to take this plane and stick it on a pin, um, and it would just rotate on the top of that pin in that vertical axis, that's what's going on there. And again, the rudder is what causes that vertical movement. So those were the primary control surfaces uh, for controlling an aircraft, but I'll talk briefly um, about the secondary control surfaces that also come into play. Now, in addition to the three major control surfaces, we have two secondary control surfaces. One are the flaps here. The flaps allow us to fly at a steeper angle of descent coming in for a landing and at a slower airspeed. Basically what happens when we deploy those flaps, we get additional lift, um, which allows us to have, as well as more drag, and allows us to fly at a slower speed um, and again coming in at a steeper descent angle. Um, we also use flaps on takeoff sometimes when we're going to do short field takeoffs, we usually apply maybe just one notch of flaps in a Super Cub, for example, and this will get us off the ground quicker. And the last uh, secondary control surface is here. This is our trim wheel. And by rotating this thing clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, we affect the stabilator out there uh, toward the back of the plane, uh, horizontal stabilizer. And what that does is allows us to reduce pressures that we need to maintain a particular attitude. Say we're in cruise flight and we're having to constantly apply a little bit of forward pressure to keep the plane level in cruise flight, we can go over here and roll our trim wheel clockwise and that'll effectively um, apply pressure on the nose, if you will, effectively due to the stabilator that we're changing, our stabilizer, uh, horizontal stabilizer, and we can now relieve pressure and apply hands-free if we'd like to maintain that cruise. Uh, we can also you use that trim wheel um, for maintaining a constant airspeed climb or if we wanted to have a constant rate descent, again, by just pitching the plane in the attitude we want and then relieving the pressures with the uh, trim wheel. So those are the major control surfaces of an aircraft as well as the uh, secondary control surfaces. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified on my next video.
Thank you.